We begin this evening with the ongoing geopolitical standoff over defense air zones that has grown even more intense in this region. The Korean government is mulling over the idea of expanding its airspace control, a change that could come as early as next month. Our Park ji has our top story. The Korean government is currently looking into expanding the nation's airspace defense identification zone known as Cadiz. Citing government sources, Seoul-based Yonham News Agency reported Friday that the Korean government has been considering the move since China's unilateral declaration of an airspace defense zone that partially overlaps with Korean territory. Government and military authorities are reportedly mulling over three to four expansion plans, but experts say all of them would include the entirety of Korean territory, including Yeodo, which is located about 150 kilometers from the nation's southernmost island of Marado. We are examining the matter of extending the Korea Air Defense Identification Zone now, so we cannot answer about the exact range of expansion. However, we will fully consider it as part of protecting South Korea's national interest to ensure the right of independent defense. Defense Ministry officials say a final decision could be made as early as next month. Meanwhile, China sent warplanes into its newly declared air defense zone in the East China Sea on Friday. It came just days after the U.S. flew its two B-52 bombers over the zone and a matter of hours after South Korean and Japanese military aircraft flew into the disputed area. Even since China has created this airspace defense zone, we have continued our surveillance activities as before in the East China Sea, including in the zone. With tensions rising in the East China Sea, the U.S. and Japan conducted two days of massive bilateral war game exercises on Thursday and Friday in waters surrounding Okinawa, Japan. The two countries stress they are regular annual drills, but experts say it clearly targets China's growing presence in the area. Park Ji-won, Arirang News.